What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in. Here we have this brand new game known as Grand Cross Age of Titans. Now I do want to mention that I've played a Grand Cross in the past called Grand Cross W. This is like a sequel to that or maybe it's an updated version. Either way, I had a blast with that one and I'm going to have a blast with this one. So shout out to Netmarble for sponsoring this video and several more videos in the future. So today guys, I want to give you guys a first impression of this game now it's very reminiscent of any strategy game right where you have like resource infrastructure you've got a wall surrounding your land but there's a lot of things about this game that set it apart that make it better in my opinion and i'm, I'm not just saying that I, I really believe that i've been having a blast playing this i wanted to get to a hundred thousand uh power which you guys see at the top left hand side for this video and it took me like all day long it's five o'clock it's 5 20 p.m for me right now and um it took me this long i started last night and i played a lot last night and then this morning to get to this point and so it, it's it's an, it's actually a really fun game let's just get into the premise of what's going on so you have fallen into skyna uh that, that's where where we're at right now you kind of uh you start off your journey with this little battle that's going on and then the princess prays thinking about this prophecy and then all of a sudden this guy and this girl fall in from the sky and the, the guy and the girl are the saviors, right? That's who, that, and that's you. you. You are playing, you're seeing it through the perspective of them. And it's it's a funny, it's a funny spin on the typical strategy. It, it re they really set themselves apart here because instead of like just, hey, there's a game, just how you play it, and here we go. The, the main character is actually commenting on how like you're in a video game and because they're from the real world and they've fallen into this like video game world, right? And so this guy is like, commenting on how this is a video game and this is how these kind of go all the time and he's he's right it's just it was a really creative spin on the concept of these like real-time strategy massively multiplayer online role-playing games so ro ro uh, uh, role strategy games so i <laughs> i've progressed a bit but not too far i'm an, I'm, I'm castle level eight right now and i can zoom in on that for you uh, castle level eight and basically what you do when you first get started is you follow where you're supposed to click and you, you see all these cool cut scenes and pretty nicely um obviously the art is beautiful but then uh voice actors also cover it it's really really nice but really what you want to follow is the scroll on the left hand side okay and it kind of tells you what to do and right now i'm stuck um i need to upgrade or build the uh, the castles to level nine but the problem is i haven't done everything i've needed to do to get that done let me go ahead and collect all my stuff i've got food lumber stone and those are the three resources that i'm actually accumulating right now now one uh, several really important things in this game that you want to notice is the artisan's house which kind of is like your builders like you, you, you can build so many or upgrade so many buildings at once you can hit this hammer button on the artisan's house and it shows you like okay i've got a builder that's doing something i can speed it up if i've got the speed ups which i don't because i've used them up the game is really good by the way about giving you stuff uh so that you can progress really quickly at the beginning anyway and then uh the other builder's not doing anything so if i hit build uh it says upgrade operation command but for some reason i'm missing one of the resources whatever this thing is what is this oath I need some oaths. I haven't gotten myself enough oaths to upgrade this operation command. But it's kind of a good way to keep track of if you're actually doing something in, on your base to progress. So I am, I'm really disappointed. Oh, okay. I, I could have sworn I wasn't able to upgrade this castle. Hold on. Can I actually, ooh, I just did. I just built it. Nice. Cool. So tomorrow morning, I'll be at castle level nine. That's amazing. By the way, I just clicked that little like hand-to-hand -hand button. So now my... My clan mates, which I did join a random clan or alliance, uh, they can help me out. So that's pretty awesome. So now I've got an eight minute or eight hour and 30 minute upgrade to go. And you can actually make those upgrades shorter through what is the other really, there's lots of important buildings in this. The other important is the academy, which is basically like your laboratory where you go and you upgrade your stuff. And it, it's like your tech tree. It makes you faster or more efficient or whatever. It makes your troops stronger, etc. There's other things like the hospital. Whenever you go fight, you can recover your stuff. Here is the combat engineer workshop, which by the way, we should probably be training these guys. This is basically catapults or they say wooden cart. I'm assuming the higher level stuff is probably like catapults, but I'm going to go ahead and train some of them. Let's train some uh, cavalry as well. I'm going to do the upper level ones as, uh, because I've just unlocked them. And I'm also going to unlock or upgrade or train whatever the crossbowmen. And I would also do regular infantry, but 
that thing's upgrading for the next 13 minutes. So that's cool. So the total army I have is over here on this like army camps thing where you can go and you can look and see how many of each troop you have. And honestly, I don't know if there's a maximum number or not. There's a total capacity for the hospital, which is nearly 60,000 right now for me, but I don't know if there's like a maximum capacity for my troops. Uh, I'm sure the game will let me know if, uh, if I reach that. There's, there's other like cool little things, but really the most important thing besides what I've already mentioned the two most important things is the Titan, which unfortunately my Titan that I've gotten, whose, whose name is uh, Esther, I believe. This is Esther. He is, he's damaged because I'm, I'm following along with the story. And so I'm trying to recover. Actually, he's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, there he is right there. So he, he, he took a beating in the last battle that we were in. Uh, so that's really important because you do want the Titan. He does a lot of damage in fights. And then the last thing is the star fragment, which is where you do your summoning. So if I click this little scroll button, it'll allow me to do some summoning. So I'm going to summon one normal summon just to see what's going to go on. And I'm going to go and just skip that because it takes a long time. And I got some of these little stars, which allow me to upgrade my heroes. That's awesome. And then I've got this advanced summon. I got lots of these, by the way. Probably going to do a summoning video at one point. But I'm going to summon one of these advanced summons. Let's see what we get. Ooh, I got another Kayla. Nice. Hey, she made a noise. By the way, there's normally music, but I found that the music was kind of repetitive, so I've silenced the music myself, but you can easily turn it on on your own. All right, so I'm going to confirm that. I got another Kayla, which I think is good for progressing her. She's my probably my second best hero, and I got a bunch of horsemen, so that's amazing because I use horsemen like crazy. So there's also this one, but you have to spend gems, but it gives you a really good chance of getting higher level summons. So the last thing I want to really show you guys besides bouncing out out of the world is the heroes. So Valkyrie is my main hero right now with the power of 3,700. Um, Kayla is my next strongest with 3,300. She's level 17. Uh, and I can actually upgrade her skills and uh, talents. We accumulate heroes and you use them for specific things. So for instance, where is Sophia? Sophia, I love Sophia because she's a gatherer. So you can go out and you can gather resources with her. She's awesome. But then like Valkyrie is just like a beast. Like she's, she's good with cavalry and she's good at eliminating monsters, which is the best. So the last thing I want to show you guys in this like first look video is you bounce out to the world and out here you're able to go out and like fight monsters at different levels and uh, go out and harvest various resources if you need extra of that. Probably gonna need that actually. And it's really easy to find what you need. Just hit the little uh, magnifying glass and you can tell them what you want. I've got gold mine selected, but it, let's say I want cropland. And I've been trying to do level three, but apparently that's not nearby. So I'm just gonna stick with level two. Uh, and then I'm gonna send my girl. Yeah, that's her right there. Carrying capacity 114,000. If I use cavalry, it's a lot more. But I like to fight with cavalry, so I usually use the wooden carts for going and gathering resources. So they're going to go do that, and then I could go fight. And there's a lot of stuff with alliances, a lot of stuff with, with battles, uh, but I'm just now getting into it. So I don't really know enough just yet. But my first impression of the game is largely positive. I mean, like, even things that normally annoy me with new mobile games that I've never played before, I'm genuinely not having the same problem here. So... Uh, shout out to Netmarble for making an amazing game. It's it's really beautiful. Like I said, the art's really nice. And I've had a, a good time progressing. And I don't feel totally worthless or OP. Like, they've got the balance just right, which I think is really important in games like this. So, all right, guys. That's going to be it for me in this first look impression of <laughs> Grand Cross Age of Titans. Try it out. Pre-registration is now available on mobile through Android and iOS and on PC globally. Pre-register now and cash in on the free rewards.